Welcome to Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another hot CNET list. I'm Aya Zaktar. Nowadays, a lot of us are carrying a computer in our pockets capable of doing a whole lot. As a phone became a camera phone, then a smartphone, it just seemed redundant to carry around other devices like a personal digital assistant. So today, we're counting down the top five gadgets living on borrowed time. At number five, dedicated GPS units. The time is ticking on this one. I remember when phones first got GPS capabilities and there were all kinds of questions when it came to reception and handling calls while navigating. The phone GPS experience has become so streamlined to the point a dedicated GPS doesn't make a ton of sense for many people. Number four, game consoles as we know them. Right now, game consoles handle a lot of heavy lifting locally, so they usually need respectable hardware internally. However, we're entering an age where people can stream their games online without needing a powerful console nearby. Sony's PlayStation Now service running on a Samsung TV is a perfect example. As internet speeds increase, there's a good chance that the powerful console age will be traded in for apps on a smart TV. At number three, dumb light bulbs. Okay, bear with me on this one. At my time here at CNET, I've seen massive interest in light bulbs. Seriously, these lowly devices are only super important on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's what I think. The days of the dumb light bulb, that is one that is not connected to your home network or phone, are winding down. Placing a wireless technology into a device that has a constant electrical connection is kind of a no-brainer. Eventually, I think that all light bulbs will have connectivity options pretty much like every TV has 3D. There are some bulbs out there right now with speakers built in. Others can act to strengthen your Wi-Fi network. At number two, the point and shoot camera. This product category is already on life support. What's that saying? The best camera is the one that's with you? For most people, that's their smartphone. The first camera phones were kind of hilarious when you think about it. One, we call them camera phones. And two, they shot at a super low resolution. Take a look at the Nokia 7650. It shot at 0.3 megapixels. So point and shoot still made sense then, but that was a long time ago. These days, the best phones are offering larger sensors and optical image stabilization to produce pictures that are good enough for most people. People who want to get serious about photography likely will head to DSLRs or the mirrorless alternative before getting a point and shoot. And number one, the dedicated fitness device. Let's face it, the future of fitness gadgets lies in smartwatches. I'm not saying that Fitbit or Jawbone is going to go out of business. What I'm saying is that the days of buying a dedicated fitness tracker will likely disappear as smartwatches get cheaper or when fitness trackers add more smartwatch functionality. Take a look at the Fitbit Surge. That's probably what the future of fitness trackers will be, merging into watches. Then there's all those sensors and phones. Apps and smartwatches are the future of the fitness device. That's it for this edition of Top 5. I want to thank Paul Spain, Patrick, and Jay for their input on this list via Twitter. Remember, if you want to chime in on this list or future ones, let me know on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.